I'm Nate from Micro Center. So the newest version of ESET is out, ESET 6, that's for Smart Security and Not32. Those have both recently come out, and we're going to show you today how to install ESET 6 on your computer. We're going to use Smart Security, it's the same method for Not32, uh, and this is for those of you who don't have ESET on your computer at all at this point. If you have ESET 4 or 5 or an older version on your computer, we have videos showing you how to upgrade to ESET 6. Uh, this one's for those of you who do not have ESET on your computer yet, either it's your first time switching to ESET or you got a new computer and want to know how to install it, we'll show you how to do all that. So let's get started. Alright, so we're the desktop for Windows 8. Let's go ahead and download ESET. So we're going to go to ESET.com slash download. That'll take us to the website here. And we're going to choose our version of ESET. For this one, we're going to do ESET Smart Security. So since we've already purchased it, we're going to click on I already purchased. That'll take us to this webpage here. You just click on the download button, and it's going to download it onto your computer. Thank you for downloading. Start in a couple of seconds, and you see it pop up for using Google Chrome. The bottom left hand side down here, if you use Internet Explorer, you'll see a bar that'll say run, save, or cancel. You're going to want to run it. And once that's done downloading, like it is here, we're going to click on the button, and for Chrome, this will run it. So this is going to bring up the ESET, or the install page for ESET Smart Security 6. It's going to look fairly similar if you have Nod32. It's the exact same process. Um, we just click the install button. And it's going to download and install. This will take a couple of minutes. So we'll come back when it's done, and we will continue on from there. All right, so we can see it's done downloading. It's going to ask us to accept the end user license agreement. So basically go ahead and read through that, and then you'll click accept. I accept at the bottom here, and then I'll ask you to participate in the ESET Live Grid Network. So we'll click Next on that. You want to enable the detection of potentially unwanted pro applications. Um, it's going to protect you if you're downloading things like you know programs or files or whatnot that may be harmful to your computer. It'll protect you from that. We'll click Next, and now it's going to actually install onto your computer. So we downloaded it first, and now it's installing. This will also take a couple minutes, so we'll come back once this is finished installing, and we'll continue on from there. Alright, so the installation looks like it's finished, so I'm going to go ahead and click the finish button here, and in just a moment it'll bring up the ESET Smart Security 6. Um, on ESET Smart Security, whenever you connect to a network, um, it's going to ask you if it's a public or a home network or a work network. Um, currently at work right now, so we're going to go ahead and choose the home slash work network, and we'll click on that, and then it's going to say activate using an activation key recommended, or activate using a username and password. Um, or actually using a trial license. Um, so if you just want to try ESET, you can do the trial license. I believe it's 30 days. Um, if you're, if you've already purchased ESET and you've activated it, you should have gotten an email with your username and password, um, and you'll use that to activate. And if you have just purchased ESET, like from our Microsoft Center store, from ESET's website, or wherever you bought it from, and just have that activation key, and you're installing it for the first time on your computer, you can use the activation key itself, which says recommended here because this is the first install onto the computer. Um, since this is our second or third time installing this version of ESET onto this computer, we already have a username and password, so we're going to go ahead and use that. So we chose the username and password. We're going to click Next, and we'll type in the username and password here. Um, you won't see these on here, but just because it's licensing, uh, but we're basically going to copy and paste both of the username and passwords that we have onto here. We'll click Activate, and it says Activation in Progress. It may take a couple of minutes. Activation complete. And then you click Finish at the bottom right here, and you have options for, if you have Not32, you're just going to see, oops, sorry about that, you're just going to see this window here. Um, which is bring to the main interface page. If you have smart security, you're going to have an option to enable anti-theft. Um, and if you click skip, you can do it later on again. And then you'll have your main ESA interface. You can see the update is spinning right now. So it's going to take its time to do an update. Make sure you have the latest packages and all that stuff. Um, even if you just download the latest version of ESA, there may be new packages that you want to get. This is just kind of verifying that you have the latest packages to keep your computer as safe as possible. Um, once that's done, though, you are all set and good to go. Your ESET is activated and set up, and you can continue using your computer completely protected by ESET. Um, if you have any other questions about ESET or anything else, feel free to contact us at microcentertech.com.